Today, we are going to be mixing our primary colors to make our secondary colors. I'm going to start by writing my name on all three pieces of paper. Do not start painting until you know your name is on the back of each piece of paper. Take your time and write your name on all three pieces of paper. Your name is going to go on the back of the paper. The side that we are painting on is the side that does not have your name on it. I am now going to get my three primary colors, my water bowl, and my paintbrush. I am going to start by painting tall stripes on my paper. I want to make sure my paper is turned tall. And I'm going to paint a tall stripe on my paper. I'm going to put one stripe on one side of the paper. Paint so that way the line touches both sides. Then I'm going to paint one in the middle. And then I'm going to paint one on the other side. Don't make them too big because then you're not going to have enough room for the next color. Now I'm going to paint yellow and the next color I'm going to paint is going to be red. So on this piece of paper, I have three yellow stripes. Now I'm going to wash my brush in my water bowl and dry it off before I switch colors. Now I'm going to paint my red stripe next to my yellow stripe. I'm only going to paint two red stripes. I'm only going to paint two red stripes. So I have space for orange. I am now going to put a little bit of red in between the yellow and the red. I'm going to clean my brush. You can see the water changing. I'm going to scoop a little yellow and then mix it in the middle. Don't mix it in the color. Scoop it and move it to the side. Do not mix it in the color. Now I'm going to paint orange on my paper. A nice tall long stripe that touches both sides of my paper. Side to side, all the way down, nice and straight. I'm going to take this one and set it to the side. We now have made yellow and red to make orange. I'm going to set my materials to the side and I'm going to get my next piece of paper. I'm going to flip it over so I do not see my name. I'm going to rotate my plate. Now I'm going to mix yellow and blue, but not yet. First, I'm going to paint a yellow stripe. A nice tall stripe on one side of my paper. A nice tall yellow stripe in the middle of my paper. And then one on the other side. Then clean your brush. Only clean your brush when you are switching colors. Now I'm going to paint blue. One tall blue stripe. Then a second tall blue stripe. Only two blue stripes. Take a little blue and move it to the side. Now I'm going to scoop some yellow, mix it with the blue, and it's going to make green. And now I'm going to paint green stripes on my paper. Make sure you leave space in between so we see that white paper. The last color is the trickiest. I'm going to mix purple. But first, I take my brush and I paint a blue stripe on one side, a blue stripe on the other side, and a blue stripe in the middle. Then I clean my brush. I might want to go ahead and move some blue over to save for mixing. And I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to dry my brush. I'm going to get a little red. Don't mix it yet. Now I'm going to paint two red stripes. Two red stripes. Now I can mix my color of purple. It looks kind of dark, but it's purple. It'll dry a little bit lighter. Just a little bit of red with some blue makes purple. Once you are done painting all of your stripes and you've mixed all your colors, all three primary colors, then you are ready to clean up, put your materials away, and you are done for today.